Hey, what's up DIYers, Mike Boris with the Mike Boris channel. Thank you for watching. Today we are going to show you the step-by-step -step process on how to properly winterize your garden hose. Believe it or not, there's a right way to do this and a wrong way. Don't do it the wrong way. Let's go outside and get started. All right, DIYers out at the hose now. And the first thing I'm going to do is turn the spigot on counterclockwise. And I'm going to give it a good spray for about 10 seconds. Let the water flow through there. And what I'll do now is close the spigot. And I'm going to unwind this hose out on the blacktop. At this point, I've got our 50 foot hose extended all the way out into the driveway. What I'm not going to do is unscrew this because if you do it right now, there's a lot of pressure in there. Let's head to the other side of the hose and release the pressure. And we're getting all the water out of our hose. Again, that's under pressure. And hold that handle down until all the water comes out. Might take about 30 seconds. That's perfectly fine. Next, go ahead and carefully unscrew your nozzle. It may leak, that is normal, but it's not going to spray everywhere. We want to open up both ends of the hose. Now we'll head back to the spigot. Back at the spigot, and we are going to unscrew this. Some water will come out, that's normal. However, it's not going to spray out all over the place in, in your face because we release that pressure. There we go. From here, what I'm going to do is basically walk this entire hose and raise it as I walk, which will continue to push all the water to the opposite end. And as you raise it, you can hear it going through the hose. And again, the whole reason why we're propping the hose up is to move that water all the way to the opposite end as shown here get any and all remaining water out of this hose the last thing you want is to store this for the winter and have that water freeze and damage your hose that would not be good get it all out at this point some do it some don't i'm going to do the exact same thing all the way back to the spigot on the house and by doing it again back to the side that connects to the spigot You'll notice there is some remaining water and get all of that out. There we go. Next, spend a couple minutes, roll up your hose. A little bit more water came out, which is great. I am going to leave both ends of the hoses open. I'm not going to secure the nozzle back to the hose. From here, if you got a heated garage, it's a great place to store this for the winter. Back to the spigot, verify it is in the fully closed position. We are going to reference that window here, hop to the other side, this window here. We are going to go down below into our utility room and turn the shutoff valve off to the spigot. Downstairs in the utility room now, and there is the window on that side, and there's the second window up there. Referencing those windows where the spigot was outside, there is our shutoff valve that feeds water to the outside spigot. We want to turn that off. Up on the ladder now, be very careful. You do not want to fall. Go ahead and shift the shutoff valve to the fully closed position. Now let's go back outside. Back outside of the spigot. Let's go ahead and open it up. What we're doing here is to release the pressure from that shutoff valve all the way to the spigot head here and allow any and all remaining water inside that small portion of pipe to drip out. And what I recommend, let that drip for about 30 minutes. All right, DIYers, to the back side of the house, we've got a second hose. We are going to complete the exact same steps. And while I'm here, I'm going to grab all my remaining tomatoes. To our second utility room, the shutoff valve up here is for our sprinkler system. There's the shutoff valve that feeds water all the way out 
to the spigot. And check out this cool little collection here. Got some wrestlers, Resident Evil, bunch of sport players. Back outside, the pipe from the shutoff valve to the spigot is much longer than the previous one. Just make sure you patiently wait and allow that to drain out. Let it drain for about 30 minutes. Go ahead and close this. From here, I've got the faucet protector. Purchased this at our local Ace Hardware. They can get pretty fancy. We buy the $2.99 ones. They're styrofoam. What I do is use them during the winter and come springtime when I remove it, I just throw this away. One less thing I need to store in my garage, taking up space or cluttering my garage. And then come winter time, I just buy a brand new one. And you'll notice three steps, installation. Number one, place loop around faucet handle. It's got a pictorial image here. There's the loop. Step two, stretch cord away from faucet. We'll pull this top part. Step three, slide the lock so it holds the cover firmly against the wall. Go ahead and position the faucet cover around the spigot. And again, that loop will go over the entire faucet handle. As shown here, it's very important. Also, as you do this, do your best not to accidentally turn on your faucet. It won't do much because we let it drain, but you don't want it open. Next, we will shift this up into place. A little padding will create that seal up against the brick wall and I will pull this rubber string out and I'll use my left hand to press this faucet cover against the brick wall as I shift this push button in and push it all the way flush with the styrofoam cover. This is what it should look like once you secure that block up flush with the protector. And for presentation purposes, I will remove that sticker because there are no instructions on how to remove it. And again, that little padding creates a seal to keep the weather out. That's it DIYers. Hopefully the video helped in the event that you want step-by-step -step guidance on how to dewinterize your spigot. Definitely check out the video scrolling above. We will have that completed in the spring. In addition, if you like this mount, we purchased it at our local Lowe's and it was $9.99. The step-by-step -step video on how to install that is down below in the comment section as well as the description section. Hopefully this helps. Do us a favor below the video. You'll see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be very helpful to us. We would really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching. Second spigot is drained and all completed.